Alrighty, hello, welcome in everybody. This is the only T Bro. How are you today? It has been a while since we we got to see the lovely T Bro in action here on the tundra. Quick recap of what's happened. Um, well, we started off just T Bro in that nice pink tribal wear with a shotgun. Um, what happened last time? Oh yes, there was. Some stuff that went down down here. I believe that was a trader caravan that came through. Oh, yes. They came through here and got caught. So they left us a couple bows that we can trade out. Now, T-Bro is currently... Whoa, why are we doing this? Cancel that. And that. We're currently going to make this into a new area. Wait, why are you doing that one, too? I don't know what I was setting last time I was here. Now, let's see what's going on. Our research is batteries. So apparently we need batteries and we're researching them. Ah, yes, that's... We did this so we can get more clothing and items in our storage shed, but we don't have much of a storage shed. Okay, let's pop this up and see what T-Bro gets up to today. Hmm. Out mining. Good job. And what we can do is just expand the zone underneath. Where is that? We'll expand it underneath. Now, it is the middle of December. December, sorry. So it is getting cold. However, T Bro is lucky enough that we had just enough wood to start. I'm just going to get that out of my way. Um, start this torch lamp which should keep his place warm enough that he doesn't freeze now his tolerance if I remember is quite low negative 9 and it is minus 31 out here in the tundra oh dang well, of course we did that we're gonna just use a limestone architect structure limestone um, <laughs> mostly that's so I can remember how to find everything in mine. We can mine that still. And we'll just expand this zone out a bit more. T-Bro seems to be getting much better at mining. And just have to use some of that construction as well. Now I am going to get him to prioritize hauling that at least... And, oh, he seems to be doing okay, so we might as well bring in some of the weapons. Now, thankfully, we, we replace these with sandstone doors. Oh. Gonna need to finish that right now or save it. Don't destroy that, we need it. Oof. Thank goodness. And yeah, we'll get him just to go get that last one. And then he can move this over. So we do have a spare leather bedroll. It's an awful bedroom. Oh yeah, everything's concrete. That's right, I had forgotten I had done that. This is our 
destroy that garbage clothes area. Ah yes, and his leather clothes. Human leather. His dad hasn't completely left us. So we are going to have to try and figure out... Ooh, we do have some animals. They seem to be far away up north. Uh, the centipede is just staying there. Plenty of zombies around. What do we have down here? I forgot we had this little amount of silver, which isn't bad. Some plasteel. We're going to need to get that soon. These won't do anything for us. However, that ibex isn't in a hard place to reach. And our food store is getting kind of low. So we'll just expand this again. Good, he's cooking the meals. So we might want to get a smelter in here. Mostly because it will also heat up the room, which is nice. Actually, we can move. Reinstall this up in here. Take some of the room away, but it also prevents him from getting slowed down every time he comes out and in that door. Ooh, so this is some drugs that we could sell. However, we'd have to get through all these zombies somehow. Now, one way we could do it is just literally mine up and then run out. Which is one thing I'm contemplating to try and get, say, the power for the, this geothermal. Since we don't have any geothermal behind the wall. Excuse me. Sorry for that. But that is also a long way off. Since we, uh, yeah, we have a lot of research to do before then. What? Oh, meditating. I forgot. I was like, I don't meditate. What's he doing? And here's what I forgot. What we're going to do is cook fine meal once he gets to that level. Meat. Human meat. Is there any way I can restrict this? Oops. Well, also, I have build butcher creature. There we go. Do forever details. Why wouldn't I allow fresh? The only one who is allowed is Tibro. That way if we get somebody who maybe frowns a little bit upon shopping up and serving your friends. Now let's see, is there anything we truly, truly need? You know what we do need, and I s don't seem to ha- oh, there it is. Never mind, we don't need it. However, one thing we could do is start making a few little quality of life things for unfortunate fortunate little t bro Where are they? Furniture. Let's make these limestone. There's one there, one there, one there. And he should get just a little bit of comfort, and it should also make these a little bit more beautiful. Uh, 
Now, as I said, we did have quite a bit of food, but we sh should never look down on having a little bit more. Animal corpses can go in there. So if we still have that Ibex down here, that there doesn't seem to be any zombies over here. Uh, the elk are up north. Any, no, not animals, wildlife. She is down there. But it's fairly cold, so we're going to want to keep him inside. Ooh. Oh, that's unfortunate. We kind of want him to come from the south. He's going to end up walking right into zombies. And we're not even going to get to take anything from them. That is the one benefit of these zombies, is that you can kind of wall them out, and then raids have to come through zombies, generally. Until we get drop raids, or um, airdrop raids, which are going to be a long while. See, he's going to immediately come down and probably die. And, yep. Called it. So yeah, we'll we'll get that research so then we can get a battery up and running. We'll ah yes, that's what this is area was gonna be. A battery farm. So structure. How do I wanna do this? One two batteries, yeah. I'm not going to put these on a switch like I usually do. So we have Aurora crash down. Now she's not in a good location. And while she is a pretty, actually she'd be a fantastic character cooking good for shooting and capable of intellectuals kind of a bummer when we're so low down um, on the research tree especially with so few people and nothing to do during the winter another one legend now legend is a psychopath he's nimble great memory oh my god can we get out to this guy um, he's dead though. He was a legend. The passing of a legend. Like, plant, amazing plants. Intellectual and medical genius. No shooting, but great memory means he'll never lose it. Nimble means he's hard to hit. And psychopath, which means he'd be perfectly fine with cannibals. Damn, he would have been perfect. Ah. Oh well. Stuff happens, right? Just gonna. How much food are we at? 122. He's not eating a ton. We might be able to make it out of the winter. What? It's 15 days, so six days, 120 food. Yeah, we'll make it out of winter. But it's gonna be close. So yeah, let's cancel those. At least these ones. That one just looks nicer. I like it more. And since it's Jesus nutrient paste meals, yeah, there we go. Okay, hey bro, not important. You instead draft and come down here. I don't see anybody around. Now these aren't great because they get mood debuff, but holy hell. We're going to take everything we can. Okay. Um, how do you do this again? We're just going to do it because it's much easier.
Farm Caravan, T-Bro. Just gonna load all of this. How much do you have? And remove from caravan and just haul that in. So we get 55 meals. That's enough for a whole month. The best part is we freeze it, it'll be there forever. So we never have to worry too much about it. that changes we are gonna let him just research 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 over the next while because even if he gets the debuff he still has the buff of wearing a human leather hat put the human leather stuff down there right yeah so when summer comes we'll get him back in nice warm stuff and they'll be all good Okay, so what we want to do for the rest of this episode is get that research finished. Whoop de doo. Okay, I guess he's gonna finish that. We'll let him finish that. Cool, so um we're gonna have more dead bodies floating around. It'd be nice if we could have got up to legend, but it's doubtful. Why aren't you researching? They got some. Oh, dang. So they're actually surviving. Oh. I would love to go get that, but we can't. T-Bro, this isn't, you're not gonna get this every, this opportunity very often. They're actually pretty de decent. Okay, so what we're gonna do is just sell everything we can. We're gonna keep the revolver though. Um. All the shirts that are, oh, yeah, we're gonna sell all those. Keep the human leather stuff. Um, yeah, if they got two hundred, we might as well grab a couple of those. Now, would it be worth it to go get that body? I think it would. Go get this human corpse. Go haul him. There's no zombies around. You could also get that yayo. Actually, yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to get that Yayo so we have something to trade as well. Actually, no. I don't trust... <laughs> I don't trust T-Bro with a whole bunch of drugs at his hands. Ooh. And then we'll just... Do-do-do. Disallow that. We'll keep an eye if any of these people collapse, like Guts. Is he going to collapse? He might. I guess not, but. Ooh. Ah, yes, I forgot the human leather bedroll that apparently doesn't make him happier. Stinks. We'll listen to some ambient. Um. 
cave tender named Meia. Because he's from nearby. He's chased by tries. Oh, he's 80 years old? No, bye. I mean, with one person on his tail, I was like, well, that's not bad. We have enough food, for sure, to last a while. We got a bed available. But an 80 year old would probably come with a good set of skills. Oh, cool. Prisoner rescue quest. They seem to be giving me a lot because I'm running with only one character. Good old T Bro. Okay, we need that research done there. Bye. Now you're just tracking a whole bunch of dirt in it everywhere. Oh yeah, I forgot I set this to have um, medicine in there as well. <laughs> I was like, what are you doing? Good. So we should get the whole day of just a whole bunch of research. Leave that there. And yeah, af after battery, it becomes a little bit more interesting. We'll probably go for hydroponics and just get a small farm going because we won't be able to run much. Actually, we might not even be able to run a small farm yet. Not until we can get to geothermal. What we do for sure want is microelectronics. Um, I don't believe it's... Yeah. It's not that one. should be in microelectronics. Yes, comms console, so we can get some trading when we don't have people around. And then we don't have to worry about all the zombies murdering them off on the way in. I was going to be like, oh, we got some food, but we don't need it. We need T-Bro to research. Now look at his bio. He's up to a six. He's a capable amateur. So this is your, you know, maybe your first year undergrads. If he's an aesthetic, he's definitely an undergrad. <laughs> oh, oh, T bro. Now what we'll probably also do is end up clipping out this wall so we can get a little bit more space. And, yeah. A bunch of steel for our future projects. This is the unfortunate snow part. So, yeah, they've got one enemy, two enemies. I believe they have a whole bunch of trading missions or not? No. So, our closest real traders would be down here, Bon, bon Minit, Bon Minbin. Ooh, that was hard. And the Dota. How far away is it? It's only, you know, 11 days. Or 13 days. So we aren't going to be trading much in this mission. Unless something really big and interesting pops up. Like the uh, solar defense thing. Orbital strike beam. Now... It's not like me to just leave meat to rot. Mm. We could also bury out, burrow in a little bit more for the food. But it's going to be a very weird looking base. Because we're going to try and keep as much space open for electricity, power needs as we can. Ooh, and we're coming close. Now, off the top of my head, I don't remember how much. Oh! He's one away, isn't he? Two. Two. T Bro, two away! Oh, well. And boy, that was, that was just going hard.
Oh. Apparently, Chef thinks he can just join. Let's see. Got some awful stuff. He's a psychopath. He can stay. He's also good at shooting and mining and intellectual. So he, he's actually a pretty decent guy all around. So we are going to keep Chef Suzuka. If you want to have this character named after you, you can set it down in the comments. And I will, first person to ask, will have their name changed. Wait, what? Seriously? I wasn't watching for two seconds. And now he won't be able to kite them. Watch. Run away. Draw him away. Come on, chef. We're gonna we're gonna have to amputate that leg. Whoa, that was terrifying. So I'm going to come out around then run back. And I literally land right behind him. Full of all the pig skin we could ever want. Good. We can play some football. See, there just haven't been zombies around here for so long that I just didn't think about it before he came. So... Chef, we're going to make medical health. Amputate left leg. Awesome. So our research is finished. We're going to hit microelectronic mostly because we now have two people who can do research. And can we get you? Oh, whoops. Click the wrong button. Amputate left leg. That's not an issue for us. There's three beavers. They'll clear out a lot of the wood, but that's why we also grabbed this area last time S or before so we can We're just chopping it off. Now his medical's low. <laughs> and he still has a leg, obviously. Obviously, he still has a leg, yet we failed catastrophically. That's the one thing that never made sense to me. It's like, oh, you failed, eh? But, uh, even though your one job was to cut his leg off, we ended up just cutting everything off and smacking him really hard somehow. Like, I feel like an amputation is, like, the easiest easiest thing to do and never. Oh, cool. He just has no leg now. I think. I wonder if this is going to go up since he has no leg. 
That's a question for you. He's going to be stuck with these two forever. Oh, goodness. Help. Add bill. Install peg leg. Can we not install a peg leg? Apparently, we can't. Huh. Well, somehow, with amputating the leg, he still has the leg. Don't ask me how this happened. Did, did we just find a hack? I, th I think we found a hack. Noise. Eh, noise. Okay, so looking at his gear, what is he for temperature? Minus 31. He is much better. He's going to drain all... Yeah. All of our medicine. I just, I, of course. Can we just amputate his? Oh, it's not there anymore, eh? You used to be able to amputate torso. I mean, the one benefit is if he's literally just about to die, we can strip him and get all of his stuff. Infection. He's slightly behind. Which, at least this is giving us some practice, but... Gonna run a power conduit just all the way over. And it needs 140 for those. We got 30, 60, 90, 120, 150. How is he doing? Still just slightly behind. So as long as he rotends them. He better not walk. 10 quality was higher this time. It was 21% last time, if I remember correctly. So there we go. We're starting to catch up a little bit. We might be keeping Chef around all the time. Whew. That'll be lucky. So we've got our research done. We've got our two being built. Now, do, can either of these two class is five, chef's class is four, so they can't. Of course, and he's hypersensitive to that, isn't he? He's gonna break, he's gonna break, and he's going to die. So what I should do is I'm going to create another barrack over here that's actually nice um, for everybody that's not T-Bro. Um, specifically right now, Chef. Yes, I get it. He's really sick. But he's ahead. Slightly. He might survive this. We've already hacked the game and somehow he didn't become infected even though or lose his leg when we amputated it don't ask me how so he's ahead he can tend now we need at least at least a 20 and he got a 46 okay so chef is going to survive now we're probably going to start the barracks off here and we're going to so i'm going to have one run in directly Orders. We're going to mine. 
There we go. Okay. Yes. So what we'll probably end up doing is making this corridor with small rooms on each side. He's now getting better, but he is just absolutely pissed with everything. That low drone is... We're going to need to get him a tinfoil hat. Is what I'm seeing. But we're also going to be making him a nice bedroom so he'll have no, none of this. Half of this is going to go away. And yeah, we have a little medicine because chef. That was weird. Do we have some star power? Finally. Okay, so Chef, what we're going to do is you can doctor. Um, yeah, we almost never said anything. You're going to be our number one grower. How's that? You're also going to be a number one miner. And plant cut, we're going to set you to one. And research is going to set to three. Now we're going to just take you off of these because you're bad. For right now at least. So what we'll do is we'll make these five by five. Inside, I'm hoping. Actually, we can make it four by four. That's That's tight, but it's not horrible. Alrighty, and we'll just architect cancel this, and I'm just going to make the next one as, w prepare the next one, that way we can get these two right on it when it gets to it. Now, gonna be very bad at mining for a while but that's why we should also just take oh restrict we're gonna copy this paste now we're we should move t-bro down on mining just a little bit Low medicine, that's fine. Now we're going to furniture. I need some more limestone. Add bill, limestone. Do until you have. Well, that's interesting. It really is not a good idea for us to attack them. I forgot about all this pig skin. But we now have another. Whoa, all this got dead. There's a whole bunch of berry plants. That sucks. And we get screwed over. Oh, well. So we now have space for... I have a red fox that's self-tamed. Now this is going to be up to everybody in the comments. Should we keep Buffy the red fox? And if you think yes, uh, put your name down. And we can also name that fox after you. Or maybe your dog if you want to call it after your dog. Um, we'll keep it around for now. We have plenty of food. 
with all those nutrient paste meals. Still 55 of them. So the jackals of anguish. I should, history, what did the raid say? I should always remember to read this. They are attacking immediately, Coats. Okay. Now he's coming in. Where's he going? Where are you going? Where are you going? There we go. Both of you. I believe he's coming in this way. Oh, never mind. He's dead. But that is a nice gun. So we're going to actually, we are going to draft you two down here. Okay, T bro. There, chef. Right there. Whew, missed. He is apparently a very bad shot. Um, we in no way want him in our base. We got a nice solid plank on him with the chef here. Cool. So we're just going to strip him. Actually, let's health. Oh no, he's been bitten. So can you strip? We can make sure Chef is in a safe location. And there we go. That would be the end of the episode. Now, first things off, we're going to want to grab that bolt action rifle. Huh. Now, before I forget, which is the nicest? Cool. He got up and left. Good. Saves me from having to go back out there and murder him. Alrighty, so that did signify the end of this episode. So thank you for being here. Um, as said, if you want to name, have Chef named after you, or Buffy the Fox, what should we do with Buffy the Female Fox? She is a Zombie Land survivor. If you want it named after you or maybe even your own pup, let us know. Um, let's just take that off medical. But yeah, thank you for coming, and we'll we'll see you soon.